In this video, I am going to look at the general solution to trigonometric equations. I will do this by using examples rather than doing a general proof. So let's start with our first example, and that would be for sine. Let's consider sine x equals a half. Now we know that sine is positive in the first and second quadrant. So our first quadrant solution would be pi on 6. Our second quadrant solution would be pi minus pi on 6. Now we could continue going around till we come back to pi on 6 and then come back to second quadrant and go around again and again and again. So the solutions for those would be 2 pi plus pi on 6, 3 pi minus pi on 6, 4 pi plus pi on 6, 5 pi minus pi on 6, and so on. We, of course, we could also go the other way around. So we could go around this way, then here, around again, and again. So they would look like this. We would have negative pi minus pi on 6 negative 2 pi plus pi on 6 negative 3 pi minus pi on 6 and so on you get the picture so I could write the solution as pi on 6 plus or minus 2 pi plus pi on 6 plus or minus 4 pi plus pi on 6 and so on and then plus or minus 3 pi minus pi and 6 plus or minus 5 pi minus pi and 6 and so on so the solution sort of split into two different patterns the first pattern is n pi plus pi on 6 where my n could take the values 0 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 4 and so on or it would be n pi minus pi on 6 where my n takes the values of plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, and so on. So I can see that when n is even, I'm adding pi on 6. When n is odd, I'm subtracting pi on 6. So I can write, rewrite the general solution to this as n pi plus negative 1 to the power of n pi on 6 where my n is an integer. So whenever I have a negative n, I end up with a subtraction. Whenever I have a positive n, I end up with an addition. So in general, I can write the solution to sine x equals a has the form x equals n pi plus negative 1 to the power of n alpha. Now let's look at the cos case. So let's 
try to solve cos x equals a half and give our answer in general form. Now again I know that in the first quadrant, let me draw my four quadrants, cos is positive in the first and the fourth. In the first quadrant my x would be pi and 3. And as before we are going to go around and around and around. So really the answer would be pi and 3 2 pi minus pi and 3 and then 2 pi plus pi and 3 and then 4 pi minus pi and 3 and you get the picture that's going around in anti-clockwise direction if I went around in clockwise direction then I would have negative pi and 3 negative 2 pi plus pi and 3 negative 2 pi minus pi and 3 negative 4 pi plus pi and 3 and so on so hopefully this is a little bit more straightforward and you can see that the solution would be 2 n pi plus or minus pi and 3 where n is an integer so when n is 0 I end up with just plus and minus cases of pi and 3 so positive and negative pi and 3 when n is 1 then I end up with my 2 pi case when n is negative 1 negative 2 pi and so on and it covers the complete case so again we can write the general statement therefore in general the solution to cos x equaling a has the form x equals 2n pi plus or minus alpha where n is an integer now let's look at the general form for tan let's look at an example um, let's solve tan x equals 103 okay as before our four quadrants and we know that tan is positive in the first and third our first quadrant answer for this is pi and 6 our third quadrant would be pi plus pi and 6 and then 2 pi plus pi and 6 if we continue to go around 3 pi plus pi and 6 and so on and if we went around in the opposite direction then I would have negative pi plus pi and 6 negative 2 pi plus pi and 6 and so on so this would be the simplest case of all where x is n pi plus pi and 6 where n is an integer so our general statement therefore in general the solution to tan x equaling a has the form x equals n pi plus alpha where n is an integer now you can try to memorize these three situations these three general forms 
but if you don't that's okay because you can provide your solution as we have in each of these examples and look for the pattern and come up with the general form for each problem you do.